Hello, this is Steve at Air Guns of Arizona Repair Department. And today we're going to be looking at the new Commander, Brocock Commander. And we're going to be looking at uh, doing uh, a few things with this Commander. This is a new gun. Uh, this is a, a gun that uh, is more of a tactical style gun. We're looking at the, uh, the Commander and everything that uh, we are looking at with this Commander is very similar to the Sniper uh, in the Brocock line. So whenever we're uh, taking the gun apart, whether it's the barrel, whether it's the regulator, whatever we're gonna do with this gun, uh, you can reference this to the sniper as well. Right now we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to remove the barrel uh, and put a, a breech seals in uh, if, if need be. Uh, you never know that whenever you're in the field, uh, whether you're in a, in a tournament somewhere, um, in competition, uh, your breech O-rings could blow and uh, you will need to know how to put them in. So we're going to go ahead and get started and uh, it's, a, it's an easy process uh, and I don't think it's going to take you long. So uh, follow my steps and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. The tools you'll need will vary. On the 25 caliber, which this is, you'll need a 3.0 millimeter Allen wrench uh, to remove the Picatinny rail and uh, on the 22 calibers, uh, you might need a 2.5. Uh, after the rail comes off, there's two set screws that hold the barrel in place. And uh, uh, the 25 caliber will take the 3. The 22, I believe, takes the 2.5. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, with the, removing these, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the uh, the, the rails. Uh, it's, it's just a lot easier to work on the rifle whenever you have the rails off, off the gun. And it's very easy to do. They, you loosen up and they, and they slide right off. And so once they slide off, you just go ahead and lay them aside. What's great about this is if you had your scope on and it, it, you didn't want to take your scope off, you can remove the Allen uh, screws, remove your rail with the scope attached, and you'll never have to ruin the adjustment uh, where you had the scope put on and uh, you don't have to play with the adjustment if you're worried about uh, the elevation, windage. Uh, all you need to do is go ahead and remove the set screws with the scope on and uh, it makes it very easy uh, to do, especially if you're in the field in a competition. Again, that just slides off, lay it aside, and now we're ready to go ahead and remove the barrel. Uh, removing the barrel, uh, this one does, it takes this 25 caliber, like I said, this is the 3.0. If it was a 22 caliber, you'd be looking at a 2.5. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll loosen these up. You don't have to take them all the way out. Just bring them up enough to where it doesn't make contact with the barrel. And once you get them high enough out, uh, you can go ahead and just uh, very easily just, just kind of move the barrel back and forth. And there we go. Tight fit, but uh, that's a good thing. Once you get the barrel pulled out from the block, there's three O-rings that you might want to replace. There's two external O-rings and there's one internal O-ring. Of course, the breech O-ring is the most important. That's the one that uh, whenever you notice that uh, maybe the velocity has dropped uh, or if you're hearing an excessive amount of air pressure, uh, then you might have blown the uh, inside uh, breech, the barrel O-ring out. If you're hearing excessive air coming from the block where the magazine goes in, uh, in competition, you might notice that the breech O-ring uh, is missing and you'll need to go ahead and, uh, if you have it available uh, in competition, which I recommend always carrying extra O-rings, you'll need to replace your O-ring. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the O-ring and then I'll, I'll, I'll replace it uh, just to show you how easy it, it is to do. Um, again, uh, we're replacing the inside and the outside O-rings. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll take a, a sharp pick uh, and if you get it just right, and it, it, can, be, it can be tough to, to get out. There we go, okay. There we go. There's the O-ring on the inside of the barrel. And that O-ring, the, the size of that O-ring is a six by 1.5. That's at the 25 caliber. Um, and then the outside O-rings. These usually, I mean, if they're not damaged in any way, you can, you can go ahead and, and leave the O-rings in place. Uh, Go ahead and take these off of here, like we're gonna go ahead and replace them. 
So the O-ring size is on the uh, 25 caliber. The internal O-ring is a 6 by 1.5. The 70 is the hardness of the O-ring. Uh, if you're working on a 22, it would be a 5 by 1.5 uh, and 70 hard on the hardness. And on a 177, it would be a 4 by 1.5, 70 on the hardness. Uh, the outside O-rings, uh, again, are going to be on the 25 caliber. 11 by 1, 70 on the hardness, and on the 22 and 177 to be a 9 by 1, 70 on the hardness. So once you have the O-rings off, if you have uh, any kind of a rag or something, you can wipe the greases off. Uh, you can do an inspection, making sure that uh, you have no particles inside, uh, there's no pieces left inside, and uh, if you have a little bit of air, which you're not going to have in the field unless you take a, maybe uh, like on your computer you have an aerosol where you can actually do a little bit of just a spray just a just to clear any kind of dust particles if there happens to be any dust uh, in the air uh, you can take and take the particles and, and remove them. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the o-rings back in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and replace the o-ring. Uh, the inside the internal o-ring we're going to uh, show you a little, I don't know if it's a trick or not, but uh, whenever you're squeezing your O-rings, if you squeeze the O-ring right, once I get it here, I can squeeze that where the O-ring actually comes up, which makes it easier whenever I'm putting it in the barrel, I can actually get it in the groove and, and it makes it a lot easier to install. So I, I'm going ahead and I, I've got this one squeezed the way I want. I'm gonna go ahead and Put it in the groove and I'm going to push down and now I know that it I can see that it's in the groove I'll grab any kind of uh, uh, tool like it has a, has a dull blunt end uh, and we'll go ahead and seat the o-ring in the groove all the way around it snapped into place and now you've got an o-ring that's been replaced uh, it's new and ready to be installed back in the gun uh, we'll go ahead and put the two outside o-rings on and they they slide on very easy these are new we'll slide that one on uh, and we'll go ahead and slide the other on there we go those are now in place if you have a, just a uh, some silicone grease uh, it doesn't take much just uh, get your fingers uh, slightly lubricated go ahead and put that on the o-rings maybe on the barrel a little bit and whenever you are sliding it back in, it makes it a little easier to install uh, back in the rifle. Uh, be careful and uh, go ahead and slide these nice and easy. There we go. It locks back in place. Uh, you'll go ahead and take your, on this rifle, of course, the three uh, millimeter uh, Allen wrench. We'll go ahead and start tightening. And what I do is I leave it a little loose and I go ahead and wiggle it because I can feel where the, the, the cutouts are in the barrel. I want to make sure that I don't have the barrel twisted uh, one way or the other. So if I leave it loose and I, 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 I just very easy, I just lightly snug, I can feel the Allen screw in, in the right spot. When, once I know it's in the right spot, I'll go ahead and tighten that up. I'll go ahead and do the front one now. We'll tighten that up. I'll go back just to make sure, give it a nice, Okay, there we go, it's, it, both of them are tight. And uh, we're ready to go ahead and put the rail back on uh, so we can get back to shooting. Uh, again, uh, the rail will slide on fairly easy. You have it lined up, it just slides on and you can go too far. So you want it to slide on and you wanna uh, just, you know, basically right at the edge here where it's flush. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. I'm gonna take the three millimeter Allen wrench Go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and tighten that back up again. Oh, that's tight. Want to make sure that it's not back too far because if it's back too far and you're using a magazine, you won't be able to get the magazine in. So uh, you want to make sure it's it's, it's flush, uh, and it is. So go ahead and we'll finish tightening these other two Allen screws up. There we go. It's that easy. If your scope was mounted on this rail, 
uh, it, it would be that easy to go ahead and, 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 and mount and, and put your scope back in the same exact spot that it was whenever you took it off. So we have that on. Now we're going to go ahead and put the rear. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to slide it on, but I'm trying to be very careful because I don't want to do any damage to the rail. So once you have it in the right spot, it does slide on very easy. And you can go ahead and put this where you where you want it. It can be a little in front. It can. I kind of have it where the angle of the block, There's a. it's kind of angled and it follows that angle. And so it's in the right position where I like it. Go ahead and tighten this up. Okay, it's tight. And there you go. We have it. That's 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 it. Uh, the 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 rail, the barrel, the O-rings. Uh, they're now new, uh, and you're ready to go out and enjoy shooting. Whether you're uh, shooting just for the fun or of it, or you're you're in competition uh, at a, at a big event. It's nice to know how to do that, especially in a hurry. Uh, you'll never be sorry that you don't know how to to work on your rifle, especially putting in the O-rings. And again, I wanted to reference that the sniper. Uh, it would be the same sequence of events. Uh, you, if you have the sniper, you're doing the, exactly the, the, the same whenever you're taking the, the barrel and replacing the O-rings on the barrel. Uh, be sure to check out some of our other videos uh, on our webpage under videos. Uh, you, can, you can get to that by going uh, and pulling up our, our webpage. Uh, there is a, a, a link that un, under videos and under playlist. Punch that in and you can pull up the uh, repair videos. Uh, again, this is Steve at the uh, Air Guns of Arizona's Repair Department. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Thank you.